This tutorial is one of the many instructional videos presented by the Olympus America Scientific Equipment Group Industrial Microscopes. This tutorial will provide you with detailed instructions on getting started with line profile measurements with the Olympus LEXT OLS 4000 3D Measuring Laser Microscope. Performing accurate and repeatable line profile measurements with the Olympus LEXT OLS 4000 is extremely user friendly because the interface is workflow oriented. The user simply starts at the top of the screen, working their way down. To access the line profile measurement tools, first you will need to ensure that you are in measurement mode. After clicking on the measurement button, you will notice a wide variety of surface metrology tools available directly below. Click the line profile button. The line profile can be superimposed across the X or Y axis by pressing the corresponding button. Further, you can position a user-definable line profile at any angle by pressing the next button. The remaining geometries in this window will become available when performing a line profile measurement in 2D mode. For this exercise, let's choose to superimpose a line profile across the x-axis. Click anywhere on the line profile and interactively drag it to the area in which you would like to measure. Notice how the graph below updates automatically. The x-axis on the graph denotes the length of the line profile, whereas the y-axis denotes the height. By selecting the length measurement type, we can measure length, width, height, and angles across two user-definable points on the graph. The yellow triangle on the graph directly corresponds with the measurement parameters displayed on the right. Click on the left and right blue vertical lines and position them at the features of interest in which you wish to measure across. By clicking on the triangle in the profile line window, you can increase the width of the line profile. This will allow for an average measurement across the entire width of the profile line. You can also perform averaging on the starting and ending points of your line profile as well. As a positioning aid, the starting and ending points you have chosen are dynamically updated on the image. All measurement data is displayed in the bottom right and is dynamically adjusted while you move the line profile and measurement positions. To record the measurement data, click the button Export to Data Sheet. Now the measurement results have been saved and can be exported via CSV format, Microsoft Excel, or used to automatically create a report. Another popular style of line profile measurement is curvature. For example, here we will measure the curvature on the surface of this micro lens. To measure the curvature of these features, simply select the curvature button as the measurement type. Position the three yellow vertical lines at equidistant points across the contour of the feature. The radius and its reciprocal value, curvature, are displayed and updated dynamically as the yellow target lines are moved. As demonstrated earlier, click the button Export to Data Sheet to save the data where it can be exported via CSV format, Microsoft Excel, or used in automatic report generation. The LEX can also accurately measure an intersection angle via line profiling. For example, to measure the angle of intersection on the tip of this laser mark, select the button Intersection Angle as the measurement type. To accurately differentiate the tip from the outer walls of the laser mark, we need to zoom in on the graph. This can be achieved by right-clicking anywhere in the graph and selecting the desired magnification. Position the starting and ending points so that they superimpose both intersection lines on the tip of the laser mark. The angle of intersection is displayed and updated as the lines are moved. 
Further, the lex can automatically measure line width. For example, let's automatically measure the width of this wafer bump. From the menu Measurement Type, select Line Width and Auto below. On the graph, position the yellow vertical line on the feature in which you wish to measure the width. Move the white horizontal line to the Z position of the bump in which you wish to measure the width. This reference line can also be positioned by moving the threshold slider on the measurement type menu. The width is displayed on the right of the graph. As a visual aid, the width is also displayed in blue on the image and is also denoted on the graph by the horizontal yellow line. The cross-sectional area of these wafer bumps can also be measured by clicking on the button Cross-Sectional Area as the measurement type. Choose to measure the area of a peak or valley with a single straight threshold line or with two horizontal and vertical lines. In this example, we will choose to measure the peak between two horizontal and vertical lines. Simply move the horizontal and vertical threshold lines to the desired measurement area. The cross-sectional area measurement is displayed on the right of the graph. In this instructional video, we have covered getting started with line profile measurements with the Olympus Lex OLS 4000 3D measuring laser microscope. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions whatsoever.